Hello everybody, my name is Zuhid Chaudhary and today we'll talk about vector-borne and zoonotic diseases affecting humans. So zoonotic diseases that are affecting humans are being shown in this table. And in this table you can see some of the most important zoonotic diseases, the host or the reservoirs that harbors the pathogen as well as the pathogen type listed in here. The animal host or reservoir has been further divided into domestic animals and wild animals. And whenever the X is present in this table, it indicates that that type of animal is not currently the predominant host or reservoir. In this diagram, you can visually view the host reservoir information presented in the previous table in a more visual manner. Some of the zoonotic diseases spread by wildlife are Lyme disease, hantavirus, Ebola, and SARS. Diseases spread by livestock, on the other hand, are cowpox, Rift Valley fever, E. coli, and mad cow disease. And then there's these other diseases of animal origins. Um, there are rabies, anthrax, plague, avian flu, as well as TB. In here, we can see a, a, quite a few vector-borne diseases that are affecting humans. Um, you can see malaria, dengue, yellow fever, Zika virus, chikungunya, uh, Jap uh, Japanese encephalitis, and St. Louis encephalitis, as well as West Nile. All of these diseases are uh, the main vector is mosquito, including filariasis, the vector is also mosquito. Uh, here the vector has been divided into, has been grouped into the three different types of mosquitoes that uh, uh, cause, uh, there are uh, predominant vectors of human diseases. Uh, one is the Aegis aegypti, Culis uh, mosquito, and then the um, 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 Anopheles over here. So for malaria is Anopheles, for dengue, yellow, and Zika, Zika and chikungunya is the Aedes. And then for Jap Japanese encephalitis, St. Louis encephalitis, as well as West Nile is the Culex. Filariasis, which is a worm disease, um, um, uh, can be spread by all of these three types of mosquitoes. Plague, Lyme disease, and uh, Leishmaniasis, uh, they don't have a mosquito vectors, but they have another vector. And for plague is a flea, for Lyme disease is a black-legged tick, and for Leishmaniasis is sand fly. The primary host or reservoir, as you can see, um, um, in, in some cases is humans, in other cases is human and primates, and in some cases is birds or rodents. Uh, pathogen has been listed in here. In many cases, it's virus or bacteria, the dominant path pathogen, but in some cases, you may have a parasite, as the case for malaria, and for leishmaniasis is protozoa and for filariasis is roundworm. Since mosquitoes uh, are so uh, dominant in spreading diseases to humans, um, uh, in here you can see some of the major diseases that are mosquito-borne. So Western, Valor, Western virus, malaria, filariasis, dengue fever, Zika virus, yellow fever, chikungunya, Japanese, Japanese encephalitis. These are some of the major mosquito-borne diseases that were also presented in the previous uh, um, table. Going, continuing on, trying to understand more of the mosquito. So we introduced three different mosquitoes, the Anopheles, the Culex, and the Aedes. And uh, this species has been extremely success successful. The female, uh, because it needs a, bl a, bl a blood meal for producing uh, eggs, it needs a protein from the blood. Um, and at that time, the female becomes extremely aggressive and it seeks human blood uh, that contains um, uh, that contains a lot of protein, uh, whereas the male of the same species, uh, they are typically uh, get their uh, get their nutrition from flowers and nectars, whereas the female during reproduction uh, needs a, a good protein diet, and that's why it needs blood meal. So the Anopheles uh, um, is responsible for the malaria, Culex, as we mentioned earlier, West Nile virus, St. Louis encephalitis, Japanese Japanese encephalitis, and the Aedes mosquito uh, is responsible for dengue, chikungunya, zika, as well as yellow fever. 
with respect to uh, the time when they feed, the Anopheles is mostly a nighttime feeder, whereas the Culex and Edix, they're primarily a daytime feeder, and Edix being mostly in the day, and Culex uh, dusk um, to uh, dawn, so a nighttime feeder. So uh, Anopheles and Culex are nighttime feeder, and Edix is a daytime feeder. Um, in both cases, uh, blood is their preferred meal, especially when they um, when they need um, when they when the female is about to reproduce. Uh, the anopheles is found in fresh or saltwater marshes, swamps, rice fields, edges of rivers, streams, and pools. Uh, Culex uh, also like stagnant water with organic rich water or with organic material, and the edis on the other hand has been highly evolved to live where people live. So it likes to lay, lay single eggs on side of water holding containers such as flower pot pods, spare tires, and similar things. Um, in here we can see typical mosquito breeding sites that are natural, uh, and in here you can see uh, mosquito breeding sites that are man-made. And I was pointing earlier, here you have uh, small little pools of water uh, that can get collected near where human lives, and this becomes breeding ground of mosquitoes, especially uh, the um, the mosquito that is the Aedes aegypti, which has been adapted to live where humans are. So let's do some quick concept check. Which of the following is not a disease carried by mosquito? Plague is not one. Malaria, dengue, and West Nile virus, all three are mosquito-carried diseases. True or false, dengue, zika, chikungunya can be transmitted by the Aedes mosquito. True. Thank you.